This short video demonstrates using AutoCAD groups on thermal desktop objects. Groups can be created within AutoCAD to easily select multiple objects. Domains are actually a sort of thermal desktop custom group, but this is an example of how to create your own. In this model, I have a TD Direct importer, 30 XREFs, some primitives, user nodes, and a small fluid network. I'll want to be able to move it around to various positions at various times. That's a lot to select each time. So instead, I can put all of these objects into a group. The first thing to do is make sure everything necessary is visible or otherwise selectable. We could use the model browser, but I'll just make sure everything is turned on in the graphics window. The next thing to do is type classic group. You can see all of these domains are shown here, but these are not selectable. I'll create a new group with the name Battery Cooling. No space is allowed. Then I'll click New and select all of these objects. The new group has been created, and I'll show you how to use that. First thing we can do is check it out by going to the model browser. groups and here you can see battery cooling. To use the group there are a few options. First we can use this model browser. Second in any selection set such as for move we can type G and then I'll ask for the name of the group and then I can move it. I can also press Control H, which will change the pick style. Then if I select any part of this group, the whole group will be selected. You probably don't want to leave this mode on very much, so you can press Control H to turn it off. With the pick style set to select groups, it's very easy to move this around or do any other AutoCAD commands. You can also do thermal desktop operations such as thermal edit and it will behave normally. This group contains many types of objects, so thermal edit brings up a selection filter. Here I could use this to quickly edit, for example, the pipes. So I want to explain about groups. Thanks for watching.